Shalom. Today we're going to do another lesson of Read and Learn. We will be doing Psalm 6, Mizmor Vav. Remember, the book of Psalms is called Tehillim, but each individual psalm is called Mizmor. La Menatseach Beniginot Al Hashminit Mizmor Le David. We discussed Lamanatseach, it's the opening of Psalm 46 also. It means to the choir master or to the victorious one. Niginot is sometimes not translated, it's transliterated. Sometimes it's translated as on a stringed instrument. It comes from the root nagan, nud gimel nun, which means to play an instrument. Al can be on or according to. Shminit is comes from the word for eight, and so people guess that this perhaps is an eight-stringed instrument. Ms. Morla David, we discussed in Psalm 23, Part 1, a Psalm of David. To the choir master on stringed instruments, on an eight-stringed instrument, a Psalm of David. La menatseach beniginot al hashminit, mizmor le David. Yehova al be'apcha tochicheni. The name of God you know. This al is a negative particle. Don't. You can check out the small words video. The links for all the mentioned videos will be in the notes for the lesson. Be'apcha, we also learned in Psalm 27, the b is in, the cha suffix at the end is yours, and af is nose, and it refers to anger. Tochicheni, the prefix tav is you, the suffix ni is me, and the verb in the middle, yachach, means to reproach. Va'al b'chamatcha tiyasreni. Again, we have the negative particle al, don't. Again, b is in, cha is your. Chama comes from the word for heat. Again, it's a, ref a reference to anger. Again, we have the tav for you will, the ni at the end for me. Yasar is to discipline. Yehovah, not in your anger, reproach me, and not in your fury, discipline me. Yehovah, al ba'apcha tochicheni, va'al ba'chamatcha tiyasreni. We see that the two pieces of the verse are in perfect parallel. Chaneni Yehava ki umlal ani. Chaneni, be gracious to me, we discussed in Psalm 27, Yehova ki because. Umlal, this is the only place that this form of the word is used. Usually it's just Aleph Min Lamed, but we know that Hebrew is fond of doubling its last letter. It means to be weary or faint. Ani, you know, is I. Rifaeni Yehova ki nivhalu atzamai. The root rafa is to heal. You know, in modern Hebrew, a rofe is a doctor. The knee at the end is me. The rest you know. 
Nivhalu comes from the root bahal, which means to be troubled, worried, or vexed. This is the nifal form, so it's a, a passive form. Etzem is bone, atzamai are my bones. Be gracious to me, Yehovah, because I am weary. Heal me, Yehovah, because my bones are vexed. Chaneni, Yehovah, ki umlal ani. Rifaeni, Yehovah, ki nivhalu atzamai. Vinafshi nifhala ma'od. Nefesh, you know, is soul. If you're interested in studying more about the functions of the soul, how the person is put together, you can check the video, We Are Your Temple. We just had the verb bahal, to be troubled. Again, this is in the nifal, in the passive form, and it's in the feminine because cause nefesh is feminine. Ma'od is very. Vi'ata Yehovah, admatai. So here we have an example of what is called kativ kri, and there's a video about that. You can look at the whole video. What happens is if there is what the scribe assumes to be an anomaly in the scripture, he will make a correction. Sometimes the correction is in line, sometimes it's in a footnote, sometimes it's in two different colors as I've presented it here. So the actual text says va'at, but the scribe says no, it should be vi'ata, and that means you. Yehovah we know, ad is the preposition until, matai is when. And my soul is very vexed. And you, Yehovah, how long? Until when? V'nafshi nivhala ma'od v'ata Yehovah ad matai. Shuva Yehovah chatsa nafshi. Shuva, from the verb shuv, to turn or to return. Chalza, we discussed in Psalm 91, in part 2, in the idea of releasing something. Nafshi, we know, is soul. Hoshieni lama'an chastecha. Hoshieni comes from the root yasha. You can learn more about it in the connected video. It means to save. You know it's the root of Yeshua, salvation. Lama'an is for the sake of, and chesed we talked about in Psalm 23, part 3. Return, Lord, deliver my soul. Save me for the sake of your covenant love. Shuva Yehovah chaltzan nafshi. Hoshieni lemaan chastecha. Ki en ba mavet zichrecha. He because ain there is not ba in mavet in death zechrecha from the root zechar to remember bishaol mi yodelach. The preposition ba is in shaol is a name for the netherworld. What happens to people after they die is a big study in itself. Me is who? The verb yada is to thank. You can learn more about that in the letter by letter part one video. Lach is you. 
because in death there is no memory of you. In Sha'ol, who will thank you? Ki en ba'mavet zichrecha b'sha'ol mi yodelach.